What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And in this episode we are fighting um, a battle outside Agatuk of the Inuit peoples, but we've got to be careful because we're being attacked by a cavalry force. So, from, a, from this direction, which means that the, the actual army will come in from the rear. So, just got to bear that in mind. And let's take them out. So the, the native peoples are always tricky if you don't treat them with respect. If you don't treat the Native American factions with respect, then that's when they sneak up on you, chop your men to pieces, and you are left with an uncontrollable route. So common sense says they should be coming from over that way. So let's deploy a core of infantry facing that way, just in case. We know there's some guys over here. So deploy a big block of infantry. With... Let's deploy one artillery team. Let's deploy one over here with them. And one as a reserve. My guns are going to be in reserve. And the, my elite infantry are going to be in reserve. Okay, so it looks like my elite infantry are going to join with you and go like this to secure that flank. This howitzer is going to trundle over to here. So it's not you, it's not them, it could be them, it might be them. But one army unit did have three units of cavalry coming in. So it's whenever we start to see infantry coming in, but the problem is, is... Okay, okay I think it's them. I think it's these guys. No, there's infantry. Well, there's infantry dead ahead of us. I can't remember. No, there it is over here. Okay, gunners. You men deploying to square as well. Quick claim the medicine men, even though they're not in the field yet. engineers got caught in the flank that's not great you guys are about to get caught in the rear as well stay deploying in squares if you deploy into squares the cavalry can't hurt you so you men are going to deploy around here General Bodyguard's going to help you guys out. You guys are going to start to clean up this flank. Good. Okay, this isn't great, but let's get my cavalry up and around this action, get my infantry up and around this action, get these quick climbers. Okay, now they're coming. Okay, now they're coming. Pivot that flank. I mean, lots of my infantrymen are. Uh, I am losing lots of my infantrymen here. So much so, do I want to set up a secondary. Do I want to set up a secondary defensive line? Or do I just keep 
working these infantry on the flank up and around. Because these guys should be able to fire into the flanks of that combat. You guys keep quick climbing people that are coming around the rear. The chief's bodyguard should go down. So that gives us some cavalry. Okay, let's... Hold back, pull back the line. You're going to have to give your life to hold up those native warriors. These marines might actually do okay, because they might be managed to get, we've got a bit of a superiority on that flank. Shrapnel shot that central block there. This flank should win against that warrior society. But yeah, there's lots of enemy infantry here, so let's focus fire them with our with our gunfire. So this infantry can push up around the flank. You guys hit that native medicine man. Okay, good. Now they're starting to break. So let's start to rain down some friendly fire. My 24 pounders need to start pounding that block of men. These guys just mob the medicine men. Mob the medicine men so that I can just make some space. Cavalry general come out here on the flank to try fight this warrior society quick climb focus fire this area because this is elite infantry of mine and I don't want to lose it but it's providing a fantastic target okay they're coming okay they're coming in Coming through. That's right, you men. Load and fire in your own time. Okay, you go set up again. Okay, good. You guys stop firing at will. <laughs> you have to be ruthless. So there's a garrison bowmen, so charge them with my general's bodyguard. Yeah, you have to be ruthless. I had to quick line my own men for the safety of everyone else. You have to know when to cut your losses and go, nah, this is a bad deal. If you could route the bows, that'd be great. Okay, I think that's everyone. If I'm going to continue. Stop the artillery from firing because... Warriors... Warrior Society, there we go. Let's, uh... Oh. The edge of the map is right there. 
down. Uh, Native American warriors, garrison bowmen. Keep doing damage at least. God, that was dodgy. You, but you can definitely see how how it can how they can overwhelm you because your infantry just can't hold. But now, so we've got the numerical advantage. Yeah. <laughs> we attack them and now they ask for peace. The cheek of some people, my god. Ooh, big defense against this big watch of Mughal troops on Martinique. Let's do it. So let's get ready. There's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of death in this episode. And chances are there'll be lots of, you know, they'll retreat, come back, retreat, come back, retreat, come back. Because their units are high numbers, low morale. And that combination usually means they break quick before they've had enough before they've had a, a critical amount of damage done to them. That's how it that's how it tends to develop. But let's see. Hmm, not the best terrain to defend in. So let's have one gun team on the right flank, one on the left flank. So let's make sure we've got some good cover for each of them. Might need one. And then whichever unit is, whichever flank is the weaker flank, then they can push. Pike unit behind one, cavalry unit behind another, heavy cavalry, and Vito Spero on the flank. Give each flank their own howitzer unit. Okay, we've got one of the units coming in on our right flank. Like right on the flank as well. These guys are going to have to do a hard switch. So, to me, that looks like the need to make a hard push on the right. And probably the need to get my pikes over on this flank. Blast them with quick lime, blast them with shrapnel shot. Shatter shots coming in. Ooh, that should be a good quick climb shot. Okay, you guys need to actually chamfer that corner a bit, otherwise you're just going to get hit in the flank. Okay. Let's get ready to push him out. Go on, you grenadiers. Knock them down. So many lost lives. So they lost 150 men and they're still not actually wavering. That's not bad. Cavalry run through. Now oh, the lancers are going to get my howitzers. That's a definitely a critical unit I wouldn't want you to to get. But then again, that's my fault for 
that's my fault for leaving the gap. It's only five lances though, so there's a chance they could... You guys, quick canister shot the bowman as a danger close priority target. You guys charge the lances, hopefully before they have a chance to kill too many of my gunners. These pikes need to make all speed over to this combat. Because the 4th regiment can only hold on for so long. Good, that's the lancers taken care of and our gun teams still exist. So man your howitzers. charge them in. So the musketeers have routed. The levy have got in. Keep blasting them. I mean, I might... No, I need to... I want to keep... Okay, pikes. Go after the general's bodyguard. Let's see how well you do against elephants. Okay, this... Quick climb unit. Focus on that unit of bows that's coming back into the combat. You men fight the levy. Okay, we've pushed back the bows. So the general's bodyguard is still problematic, as are the lancers. But I'm can hide wooden, good stamina. You men charge into the rear of those gunners. Charge into the rear of those bowmen. So you guys cease fire. Okay, that combat there is all going on. That's okay. Okay, you men pivot because you're now being engaged by Musketeers, so let's get the howitzers to drop. I can't drop quick climb on them, but if they advance to make up the distance, let's unlimber this heavy artillery and let them keep firing round shot. My gunners run away. So at least this flank's stable, the right. It's the left, it's the dodgy one. Let's pivot you guys back as well. Charge the pikes into the lances as well. May as well get them to clear out. Okay, gunners. Not many of you, but enough. You men hit the bows. Pike's coming in. General's bodyguard is intact, but let's get some charges on the go with our cuirassier. Uh, howitzers, howitzers, howitzers. You guys are round shotting. Hit the seat musketeers to the rear. Get these howitzers to hit that quick climb. We'll hit that unit there. Okay, let's advance this line up. These men are enough to deal with those Kizilbashi. Still got some guys coming in from the rear over there. Heavy cavalry charge the levy. Keep my general's, general's bodyguard on the move. Curacier, smash! And this is the kind of combat they love. 
general charge the flank of the levy because they're upset. Try to see if you can hit the the general's bodyguard. Boom! Got him! What a shot! Charge the general's bodyguard. You men push up to where one army is entering the field. Elephants destroyed. So now you guys can actually form Sans General. I think I'll have to do that. Form up, get my cavalry up and ready. Then we've got a good line formation ready. We've got infantry prosecuting attacks on where these men are joining the battle. I mean, these Kizilbashi are standing their ground pretty well. Better than, you, better than you would expect. So these guys continue to bombard the bad guys at range. You guys smash the levee. I know this regiment of this line infantry regiment's not positioned the best, but still they're actually doing pretty good. Then they can advance to threaten the general's bodyguard. I think that's a levy unit dealt with. Swiss pikes over here as well. Come on, break, break your devils, break. So then push up to threaten the general's bodyguard. This one gun that's left, keep shrapnel shotting those men. You uh, don't hit anyone yet. It's just the levy that's hit the line there, nothing to be worried about. So you men clear out this general. So, I mean it might take a few volleys to knock out some of his hit points, but knock out his hit points you will. There we go, so now these guys can also join the line here. I mean it looks like they, they just really, really want to threaten the flank of this position. No. Ah, oh, Grenadiers! No, you madmen. Good, so we've now managed to push, back, push their front back far enough that the howitzers on the right could actually hit targets on the right. So my cavalry, my regiment of horse, horse was to fix the pike, was to fix the Kizilbashi into position while my pikemen charge in. Yeah, my regiment of horse did not like it one bit, but I, I did not expect them to. It was a necessary thing to do. So let's reposition our line. Our ammunition's still okay. Everyone's charging, or attempting to charge.
Those camels, they are camels. I bombard the camels with my infantry. These pikes push on against the African musketeers. Well, these guys continue to just put throw back every attack that comes their way with great courage. So these units should also get thrown back. My pike's going to have a wonderful time against these African musketeers. Unarmoured and non optimised for the melee fight. Kill enough of them to make sure they shatter. Good stuff. Bring up our line to face the pikes. That is a enormous target. <laughs> Shame we're not going to take advantage of it because they've got too many, they've got too much infantry advancing onto the field. That and just let they might just come back anyway. So you. Take out those units of musketeers. These men pivot to continue to engage the enemy. A lot of artillery from that battery back there is finally landing and doing some good work there. Yeah, see, a lot of it did come back. They're still coming in. Some of these men are running out of ammunition. This unit's running out. So it still might devolve into a giant. melee fight but it looks like that might be the end of troops coming in there so let's bring these guys across get this heavy cavalry to charge the the, the, uh, the levy because that's exactly what they want us to do seemingly Very well. These men still have ammunition just. Charge into that unit of levy. Okay, these guys just push up to threaten the flank. You guys actually don't run all the way out there. My pikes can clear them out. Those guys might have to fight them just because they're in the way. Or engaging their levy. Okay, everyone, this is it. The charge is on. Cavalry hit the hit the musketeers. Artillery switched to round shot. At least he won't do too much damage to all of my guys. Then this is it. Everyone. Okay, let's so see. Everyone whose guard mode is on should switch it off. And 
there we go. The round shots landing hits in the right places. But let's just stop it all now. Because now we are just pursuing. Pursue. Chase. Destroy. This is how you wanted to fight the battle. And this is how you're gonna fight the battle. But the 128th and my regiment of foot Swiss, like Swiss Pike's gonna hit this levy unit in the flank. Yeah, there's just... Not a lot you can do. Whoa. Well, that was an absolute brawl. <laughs> that was a real brawl, but we did so much damage to them. Yeah, well, they lost they lost half their army. Oh no, but still, nearly ten thousand men. Rupert, I know they. That's all right. They all died. Okay, sweet. But there we go. The Mughals are on the march, as we were would expect in the uh, in the Americas theater. Obviously, Denmark did not take our attempt to destroy them very well. I mean, they can chase down my ships if they like. That's right, go back to port for all the good it'll do, yeah? <laughs> God, that's... Okay, so that's a lot of fights. So let's quickly go back and uh, fix who we need to fix. So... Trade we raided, we know. So, you're still replenishing. Up to full strength. Vito Spero, who's a very good general. Demand the surrender of Martinique. Let's do some upgrades. Here, let's upgrade Barbados and let's build. We can't build any more ships here. But we do have a ship over here that we can... Well, both these armies are going to go take Punda. Where it's going to very much be a, a similar sort of fight. Although, if anything, I might want another army in there. Well, no, two will be fine. We did it with one. Let's let them replenish first. Obviously, up here we've got... Uh... Quebec churning out as many armies, as many troops as quickly as it can because it needs well, it just needs to keep generating troops it's all it needs to do uh, Montreal, you're going to try and build the fences if they take their time getting up to us we could actually get them built we might build some Native American mercenaries to just fill up armies like such as Quebec. So you're replenishing still. The second rate up here is going to raid Plymouth. The sloop is going to raid New York. This fleet is going to go raid Luz. And then Yorktown. Fort Nashwack, just sit there and just sit there and defend. Let's actually rebuild the naval hospital and rebuild this trading company, considering they are ours now. You need to oh you did lose a unit. Well you guys are gonna replenish and keep doing what you're doing. 
So we researched percussion cap, and that's it now. All the technologies of the world are known to us. Let's upgrade you to an engineer school. You are going to march down to southern Italy, where you're going to hold and wait for orders, because they're going to wait to push against India. That's where they're going to be. That's where we're going to be marching that army. So you're replenishing. You're replenishing. See, all these guys are going to come marching down. Which broadly they're going to come marching down. You need to come down to here. That's where the bulk of our troops need to be. Because if we declare war on the Brits, that's where they're going to come at us from. You're going to march up. That's where these guys are breaking through. You guys are actually going to push on Baghdad. Because Baghdad's actually pretty undefended at the moment. You are going to auto-resolve. <sighs> going to have to do it. As annoying as it is. At least when you attack with everyone, at least no one army is utterly annihilated. But just keep squeezing. They can't cross through the mountains. I'm going to bring that unit, uh, that, this army, back around to the rear to squeeze Memi Skebet. Same with them, because you just keep. Just keep squeezing so that they can try and hope... Well, they might not be able to completely support each other. You might go clear the north-east. Go up towards Yerevan. Ah! Well, just a second, everyone. I need to have a quick break. And I'm back in the room. Okay, so... This army here should be ooh, uh, looking. I shall probably should, should better off to do it manually. Really, should be looking to uh, grow. Signore. So let's get two crossier and a bunch of infantry. Oh, actually, yes, that's what these guys are going to be hopefully providing. So let's stop the recruitment of all that infantry, except for the cuirassier. They're handy to have. So you men combine your armies. I don't know why it's particularly this area. Elsewhere, it doesn't complain when I pick I pick up armies. Well, here it might, because a lot of flags going on. It would be nice. To, it would be nice to try and catch one of these armies on the march. Really. Feliciano D'Amico. Okay, you've now got capacity to build more infantry. You can come down to Crimea, where we will ferry you across to Turkey. Up here against, up here at Denmark. Let's move forward. Let's move you guys up in a supporting role. Let's engage Conrad Danielson. A lot of troops, but they're just basic troops and regiment of horse, so... Not overly a problem. Let's get into it and let's secure Iceland. And again, these two armies up here in Iceland will also form um, a core part of my of my India invasion force. But let's before we worry too much about what we're going to do when we invade India, 
You have to uh, finally crack open an Ankara. Just keep squeezing all my troops forward. Okay, there's a bit of a rise in the middle of the battlefield. So we want to control that. So I want to push up to about here. So let's put a... I suppose I should put two gun teams in the middle. That might be a shade too much infantry in the centre. Another gun team on the flank. Three infantry as escort. Keep the dragoons together. Got our regiment of horse on the flank. Again, we've got some howitzers. We can just drop and let them open fire. Oh, we've also got rockets, which you never normally get because they don't seem to really do anything, but let's have at it. So we have rockets fire at will. focus on other things don't necessarily focus on the artillery has my rocket battery fired it has so I think they do a, I think the thing with rocket batteries is that they do a yeah they cause panic but they don't do a huge amount of actual damage So they might be good against Indian troops, but then again, let's see, they're all eager and active and ready to rock and roll, so... The real win will be when my artillery, my field artillery, get into position. There we go. So now we are... Nuts. My infantry unit's been destroyed. Rockets are over firing again. Okay, so now you men are in position. Unlimber, and you can have shrapnel shot at the ready. This is the 28th regiment. They don't have bayonets, so if they decided they wanted to sort of suicide bayonet charge into our line, it's not going to work. Focus on what's coming in behind us. Oh yes. There's the reinforcements coming in. Charge my Dragoons up into the combat there. You guys on Limber. Rocket troop firing again. No, it did make... Uh, it might, yeah. People waver. See, look, this is the thing. You chase after them and they run away. So if you run away, they then go, oh, hang on. You want to go, for God's sake, make up your damn mind. Because you guys are mopping up the 28th. I mean, it's mass, mass row in all directions, let's be honest. Hey, you, you actually made it into my line. Keep my gunners running away. More rockets. Okay, you pick up your gun. 
you guys stop pick stop pot shotting get the cavalry you guys form line behind the defenses fire it by fire at will on Quick climbing howitzers just engulf the center with death and destruction. Let's get the rocket troop to fire on the center of the cluster. Can you not even. You can, you can fire that. Okay, they've got the same problem the mortars have got that if you try and make them fire at something, they just say no. These guns are done for. At least the centre center of my line is in good condition. Yeah, there they go. So now if anyone charges my cavalry from up here, my dragoons do have their carbines to fire at them as they get into position. So these howitzers, round sharp. Engage the enemy regiment of horse. Because the uh, enemy forces in the field have collapsed. Got a couple of kills there. See my regiment of horse doing a bit of damage in the pursuit. Yeah, Danish forces have had enough. But the, but the, uh, the enemy is bringing in reinforcements. I'm curious to see who else comes on here. Okay, let's send this unit to go and attack the general's bodyguard because we are aware that the bulk of the enemy forces are going to come in from right at the back so howitzers limber up rocket troop slowly trundle forward It's a weak regiment of horse. To deploy into square in the last moment, moment still does. It's still not terribly ineffective. So they might come back because they've only lost 72 men. So that could be doom for our artillery, but there we are. Can't really do anything about that. This regiment of forces continuing to be tricky. General's bodyguard's been killed, so it's charged my horse grenade guards down to the first regiment of horse. Two hidden units over here. Lots more regiments of horse. These two core units drop into square. Let's get some infantry over here pronto. involved in this combat as well because that's a lot of cavalry Let's 
Move my infantry up here, ready to form a set of squares. Yeah, there we go, see? So run my general up over here. Run through this square formation. So you men form square, because you can see what's coming. As can you. So let's get one horse grenadier guard units not run completely away. Everyone attack that damn regiment of horse. Let's move my howitzers up. Let's try and get you to fall back. Everyone attack the regiment of force. Okay, so now my general. Let's make my general ease his way around the flank. These two infantry units can just get up here. Ah, too bad. The horse, one of my horse grenade guards didn't make it. Let's keep pushing up. In square formation, or else you will die. There we go, we should break that militia unit. Yeah, there we go. So, my horse grenade guards are now more of the the hammer rather than the anvil that was being hit. Okay, let's get them back now. All this infantry can form line. This how it's a limber up. Well, unlimber. And just open up. Let's try to form square. Let's bring the dragoons back in against the fourth. We now have another general in the mix because what we all need is more generals. Obviously, my glorious line has a lot of lovely targets to fire at. And we should see some lovely quick line come dropping in. I might actually target areas rather than units. Drop it right in front of my line. Right here. Precision shooting, see? Where's my cavalry? Get them out of here. Oh no wait, that's, that's their... That's their... Um, my infantry routing. So the rocket, just stop what you're doing and fire at whoever you like. Actually, you charge into the 9th Regiment, because that those, those men have been engaged by ours. Oh, the rockets are in. Such glorious death and destruction. Keep advancing. 
switch to round shot. Engage the 12th up on the hill. Now those are the oh, artillery teams trund slowly trundling away. Let's get our cavalry through there. So you managed to make an infantry unit route just from charging them, which is lovely. This regiment of foot, please pour fire into the flank of the 11. There's another volley of rocket fire. That's not, to be honest, rockets aren't too terrible. They're not so good at causing the chaos, but at least they do keep it going. So let's storm the hill. How it says unlimber, try to get into range again. Bring this regiment of horse in to try to snipe the general's bodyguard. Snipe the general's bodyguard. Bayonet charging down the hill. You know Oh, they are reloaded. Second rank, fire! Third rank. Oh, third rank didn't get to fire. There goes the general's bodyguard. Just keep attacking whoever you can. You're so close to the edge of the map, it doesn't really matter. Smash into the back of the 15th. charge through. There we go. That was a bloody battle to clear the Danes out of Iceland. But we've done it. So that will punt all of their troops away from the region. They'll all fall back. That leaves you within range. Well, they're not going to demand the surrender, but you're going to continue. To be honest, do you just auto the siege? Because we've more or less fought the cool battle. There we go. We fought the fun battle. There's no point worrying about mopping them up. So you men are replenishing. You guys are replenishing. And you require probably two units of artillery, which you can recruit from Reykjavik. So let's demolish the shipyard. Let's upgrade port infrastructure, upgrade or we'll build some brigs, let's upgrade the road infrastructure, let's get this region booming and I might informally turn it into my staging point for um, Indian, Indian attacks. So in my bigger shipyards let's start to churn out not like true fleets but try and try and build a cluster of higher tier ships because we have two armies here another two armies here a third army coming down so you're joining up for them for recruitment uh, Probably build build more in in, in um Rome because that will likely be necessary. So let's get another rocket troop if we're gonna experiment with attacking in India, although there's only so many we can actually have. There we go. So that's one of our other armies landing in North America. So these guys are going to push up to Fort Nashwak to give this territory some support. Then just deploy the agent anywhere because you're going to infiltrate 
Boston. Got percussion cap. Workers riot in Dagestan. It's good to know. Let's. Oh yeah. Okay. So Dagestan, Dagestan, Dagestan. Yeah, they've they've rioted, but they they chilled out. So let's do some economy upgrades. Some global trading companies. Like these fourth rates are a good example. I might preemptively sail them up to Iceland. And it would be worthwhile to slowly start to build up a fleet to hold the Strait of Gibraltar. You men don't serve any purpose. Let's disband you. Demolish the boarding house in Paris because we just don't need it. Oh, actually, I'll keep it. Why not? Let's try to keep them happy. I got two more generals bodyguards. Got lots of actually quite good ships. Uh, let's recruit. Let's just get one of these. Um, yeah, maybe not one of them. Get the no, I don't want a brig to occupy the port. That's the problem. Okay, these guys could actually be useful, so I might get them down to... We'll just march them up to the Netherlands. We got these guys. They're going to stay embarked. Let's bring all these guys out of Norway. Get them over to Stockholm. of recruitment in Egypt we've sorted out we want to push there but that's okay we're holding out we're starting to hold against the Ottomans in the rest of their empire elsewhere is a bit of a defensive action so these guys are replenishing these guys are replenishing let me to land and take Punda and then Nassau let's have a look at what what we're dealing with at Nassau Yeah, it's just a bunch of odd units. But then these armies, when they're ready, once they've taken out these Mughal position, positions, they're going to land in St. Augustine to the south and give them a, a threat there. So, let's hit end turn and see what happens. Obviously all of our men are pushing up to the front line. Some of our spies are advancing up the front. Plenty of ongoing recruitment. Yeah, there we go. See if Persia joins them. Persia did not join them. Very well, Britain. You have chosen death. Do you see how much firepower we bring to bear? You have not learnt your lesson. Consolidating their strength. Oh, can we... Oh, I don't want to do it with Mr. Venturi because his army's depleted and that's all of them. Okay, good. That's more... Uh, yeah, that army's not badly depleted. Okay, this is this is it. This is the battle. 
All right, so we might lose some armies here, but this is why I have the... Uh, this is why I have so many here. So let's just make sure we've got most, mostly infantry up front. Some cavalry is not bad. Let's get the general out of the way, because I'm not interested in having the general up front first. Engineers are good. Cavalry are also good, because they do... They do provide that rapid response. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for a truly enormous battle against the, the Ottoman Empire. Cheers, everyone.